years ago, no restaurant in China will even prepaid yeah, yeah. for allocation. They were doing consignment. Yeah, consignment. Yeah. Uh, now they pay. Yeah. No, nobody almost do consignment. Yeah. And some restaurants start to prepaid and block the wine and pay 50% because they know that people start to realize this and people want it. Yeah, yeah. Hi, this is Sid from Beverage Trade Network. Welcome to the Wine, Whiskey and Weed Show. I'm here with Maxim, who is uh, one of the leading wine importers in Shanghai for luxury wines. And today we're going to chat about how overseas wineries can uh, pitch rightly for the importer. Maxim, thank you very much for coming to the show. Could you please introduce our audience uh, about yourself and what do you do? All right, my name is Maxim. Um, I used to work for Michelin Star Restaurant and hospitality business for 15 years. I arrived in China 12 years ago for Intercontinental uh, Group. Uh, now I work for importer and distributor who has also uh, one fine dining restaurant in Shanghai, opening a second one in uh, Shenzhen this year. Uh, we really focus on high-end wines, open market, fine, uh, first growth, second growth of Bordeaux. Uh, since one or two years we saw a change in the market, so now it's a very burgundy place. Um, and also focusing on biodynamic, natural and organic wine. Okay. Uh, the company was uh, started in 2007, mostly focused on private customers due to the restaurant business. And since uh, one year we focus on the Mission Star restaurant, which now Mission is in the Shanghai. Uh, end of November will start in Beijing uh, and Five Star Hotel. Um, and our more focus, I would say, it's uh, really um, all this high-end winery, which really become uh, what people in China want to request, uh, because they are healthy, you know, in terms of natural, organic, and also because it's, it's in terms of face and prestige. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a very successful. Even if this year, I believe the China market is a bit struggling. There was a war with the U.S. So, American wine here is 100% tax. Uh, we have a very high uh, tax in China. Uh, but I know that New Zealand, Australia, they, they have some agreements, so uh, they have less tax, which make it a bit more competitive. Yeah, got it. So absolutely, I think, uh, you know, Australia and Chile is doing fantastic here because of the tax arrangements they have. Uh, for the wine import business, let's say, you know, uh, you said one of the main channels that you focus on is the private collection, right? So maybe is it like mostly a pre-sale where a customer is requesting you this particular uh, wine and then you import a pallet and they buy a pallet and keep it for the private use? Is that a lot in your business? No, uh, mostly what they, they do is pre-sale yeah. is quite difficult because China, even if they have money, mm -hmm. uh, they don't plan too much in advance. Okay. It's more, uh, oh, they have a dinner tomorrow, they will buy wines. Uh, there is some, a lot of big wine collectors, uh, but even Chinese collectors, they will buy in Hong Kong, no tax. They have a second warehouse in, in the Hong Kong and then they will bring the one when they need. Um, I think the focus here is really on these top premium wines that everybody knows, DRC, Petrus, uh, Lafitte. Uh, but since few years, we can see that now they understand, they bought it. This, I think Asia, especially China, is one of the biggest buyers for this kind of wine. Uh, but now they want to have something more boutique, uh, things then who show that they start to know well the wine even better. Mm. Uh, a lot of people buy Lafitte, now they will go maybe to Chateau Le Pin, Vieux Sertan, uh, some smaller uh, appellation. After, uh, yes, a lot of people request us. If the, we can have an allocation of DRC or Dovene every yeah. year, we'll be very happy and we'll sell it. Uh, we are, for example, the distributor of Coche du Riz in, in China, and yes, yeah, it's something that. People didn't know Coche du Riz mm. many years ago. They were really bored of it, and now it starts to expand. Everybody wants, and we limit allocation. But in terms of pre-sale, we still do it, mm -hmm. uh, but mostly, uh, I would say, for mass customer. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that because these ones are very rare, mm -hmm. then it's going to be something that's going to be developing more and more. Uh, many years ago, no restaurant in China will even prepaid yeah, yeah. For allocation. They were doing consignment. Yeah, basis, consignment. Basis. Yeah. Uh, now they pay. Yeah. No, nobody almost do consignment. Yeah. And some restaurants start to prepaid 
unblock the wine and pay 50 percent because they know that people start to ask this and people want it yeah yeah super so it's a, it's a good exciting news i mean uh, the luxury category is growing yes. um, what are the tips that you would tell a winery a luxury winemaker or a wine brand trying to enter uh, shanghai and who's looking for an importer let's say right so uh what is an importer looking for in a luxury wine brand i mean uh, there is different things like of course the the quantity mm -hmm. when the wine is very rare yep. it's easier to sell uh, if you start to have a wine with very expensive uh, and the winery expects to make 10 10,000 cases in china extremely hard uh, and then i will suggest them come here <coughs> often but not that often mm. there is no the market is big there is a crazy potential i think it's important to be on the market now sure. because the market is going to grow so much uh, but don't invest all the money come to one fair qualitative uh, make a lot of meeting for two three days with the most importer you can uh, find um, and basically yes it, because the thing is have high rating help uh, as uh, marketing help also mm -hmm. uh, a lot of winery in, in a small boutique in france they don't have even uh, pdf or presentation yeah uh, rating they don't participate uh, s but for if you want to start the business it can help especially if you want to do some retail or high hand uh, but I would say yes China you need to people need to come here yeah winery need to be there because in 10 years it will be probably the best market in the world true, true. Um, I will suggest to them come to uh, one of the fair pro wine Vin Expo get the most importer you can meet uh, invite maybe one event with some trade, some sommelier to have the feedback in terms of label, quality, price, to see if they think that it will work in the restaurant and uh, and come as soon as possible. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think uh, it's an important market, super important market, as you said, but it's just going to take time. So that's why don't uh, invest so much of your time and money, uh, but it is, it is a long term play and important play. Uh, for the marketing of uh, the wines, uh, which are the channels that you've seen most effective? I see that a lot of uh, digital marketing, especially WeChat, right? So which are the channels that you think are the most effective uh, for them to spend money on? I mean, digital in China, it's everywhere. Uh, we, nobody has cash almost. We pay everything by our phone. Uh, you want, you, nobody go physically to a shop to buy shopping, everything by internet. Uh, so yes, definitely. I will say suggest on the digital uh, winery to have at least a website, maybe have a Chinese page. It will already help Chinese consumer to understand your wine and, and read, and it will show that you are interested in the country. Uh, but this digital is definitely a lot of importer distributor sell directly, but they also have their website or they have a physical shop where also they can uh, scan and you have the all the information of the wine. Digital in China is number one priority. Yeah, yeah. It is only growing and it will only get thing bigger and bigger. Even this company uh, who are specialized of digital but not in the wine, now they have license, they import themselves the wine, mm -hmm. and the volume is huge. Let's be frank. Yeah. Super. So uh, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Uh, this will surely help our audience. And anything else you have, any tips for the wineries overall, feel free to mention. No, I think, uh, like I said before, I think uh, China is uh, one of the craziest markets in terms of what's happening. Um, I arrived 12 years ago, they, was, they didn't know too much about wine. Now, some of the Chinese have WCT Level 4. Uh, last year, we have one of the, uh, first, uh, the first master sommelier Chinese. Uh, in China, we have at least three or four master wine working in China. Um, and... And it's getting better and better. There is more A1 education, a uh, lot of sommelier. The association of sommelier in China is very active. They do competition. Uh, famous chef also arrive with uh, Pierre Gagnier, uh, Jean-Georges, uh, La Meloise restaurant. And all is, is the quality is getting there in terms of customer, in terms. So I, I really think it's the time to really come. Uh, come humble, of course, understand the country. It's different technique or mm. different way of uh, selling wine. Uh, but I think it's really important that people come, see the market, understand the market, uh, because in a few years, you don't want to be left Late, out. Yeah. Yeah.
uh, what do you think uh, you are you are our judge you know so what do you think of this philosophy where we judge by quality value and package what's your thought on that no i think of course you know the first thing uh, when you try something wine food or uh, its quality uh, i think is the most important uh, nobody is going to buy a wine which doesn't like the test uh, value also very important you know uh, everybody has a, m- a price range he can afford or not afford uh, and the visual you know and it say as a french person as a wine lover i will not even notice the label living long time in china you become crazy about the label the wax the size of the car uh, because it will help you to sell so easier True. um now with the the fashion of biodynamic natural the wax everybody love it it looks like it's artisanal boutique so i think the the visual is very important and especially if you start to do digital and retail the first thing you see is not the physical bottle is the label and how is the shape uh so i think it's is the right way to judge uh, the wine knowing that also even if we judge with strict characteristic quality is still more points yeah. than the rest so now i think is the, the right way to do it great thank you very much thanks again yeah. for your time thanks, thanks. Thanks.